Hello, Gemini. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? Thank you for being here and for tuning in. This is your love reading for the second half of May, May 16th through the 31st. So it's general as always, guys. It will not resonate with every single Gemini out there. Please do take what makes sense to you. Leave the rest behind. And if you are interested in a personal private reading from me, as always, that information is down below this video. All right, Gemini. So what I'm going to do first is tapping into some focus cards from the Lover's Oracle deck, and then we will see where that takes us with the rest of your reading. All right, Gemini. So let's get started. So angels, spirit guides focusing on Gemini. What messages would we benefit from at this time? And for those of you who will be celebrating birthdays, guys, I hope it's wonderful and that this brings you the best year of your life thus far. Please bring forward some focus cards for Gemini, please. Let me get the bottom of the deck. There we go. Okay, we've got Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And this other card that came through. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Some of you guys really needed this message. So let's see how this all plays out in your reading, Gemini. All right. So let's start off with some Mystic Moon Oracles to tap into what's going on for you. Again, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take from it what makes sense to you. So angels and spirit guides. Focusing on Gemini, what messages would we benefit from at this time? I do feel you are in separation from someone that you love, Gemini, for some of you, and that you really do feel they are the missing piece of your puzzle. That is what it feels like. That's what the Embrace card is coming through, telling you. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. They literally fulfill parts of your life that really need love and healing. Wow, that flew out. Okay, balancing the scales. So there is an imbalance here. A need to balance the scales. So for me, this is coming forward that someone is putting forward more effort or energy towards the connection. And there has to be equal effort in order for this relationship to manifest union for some of you. That's what I'm feeling here. What else do we need to know for Gemini, please, angels? The Divine Masculine's energy is being represented here. If you are the Divine Masculine watching this reading, your energies are coming through here. And perhaps you are knowing instinctively that you are not putting forward equal energy or effort towards this connection and that you are acknowledging that there is a little bit of unbalanced energy here. And for my divine feminines tuning in, your divine masculines energies are coming through here. Perhaps you are really heavily thinking about your divine masculine. You're missing your divine masculine. You're really wanting to manifest union with this person. So let's see where this is going to take us. And again, I'm feeling that you miss them. They complete you. They complete your life. They complete your heart. Refocus is needed in this situation. So if things are not going, Gemini, in the direction that you are wanting things to go with your divine masculine, whoever is identifying with the divine masculine energy, you want to see things shift towards union, I'm feeling. And it's interesting how we've got 
a divine masculine represented here through a male figure. And we've got a divine feminine being represented through the refocus card. So for some of you, possibly the divine feminine is thinking of either walking away from this connection, whoever the divine feminine is in this connection. Divine feminine is thinking of either leaving this relationship because it's just not moving either fast enough or it's just not moving. And that there's this stuck, stagnant energy that for some reason I'm feeling a barrier here. There's something that's stopping you guys from coming into union. And I can't help but feel that part of your energy, Gemini, is tapping into the energies of this focus card where it says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart. So I'm feeling that you already know what it is that you need to do. The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And I am feeling that with this person that you're thinking about for this reading, you do feel they are your soulmate and that this person has acknowledged the fact that you guys are soulmates or that you're spiritually connected towards each other. For others, other Geminis tuning in, perhaps you identify more with a twin flame connection. What else do we need to know? Vibrations. You guys are still tapping into each other's vibrations. You still feel each other's presence, regardless of whether you guys are in separation or distance. It's almost like you might be sitting there holding your phone, wanting to hear from this person, and all of a sudden you either get a text or a phone call. That's how in tune you guys are with each other's vibrations. You guys still feel each other. I really, I really see that. And look at this bottom of the deck. Conclusion. And action right after that. So what I'm feeling here, Gemini, is that this relationship that is out of balance, I'm feeling for some of you, it has to conclude. It has to end. It has to come to its conclusion. There has to be an end here in order for either the, the well, I'm feeling really the divine masculine, again, holds the key. I think this came through in another Gemini reading that I did. The divine masculine holds the key in manifesting union in this relationship. It is the divine masculine who needs to take action towards his divine feminine or whoever it is that identifies with the divine masculine or divine feminine here. It's the divine masculine that needs to take action to manifest union in this relationship. If the Divine Masculine does not take action, I'm feeling the Divine Feminine is not going to wait forever and she's going to refocus her energies towards other things in her life. I'm saying her, but it could certainly be reversed, okay? Whoever identifies with those messages, it doesn't have to be gender specific. So whoever is wanting to refocus and not wait if this thing takes years to play out, I don't see whoever is identifying with the divine feminine energy. I don't see this person waiting around forever. There's a lot of love here between you and this person, Gemini, but there has to be action that is taken here. That is what's causing those unbalanced scales coming through. So again, I think that possibly this might have to end for this person to realize what it is that they need to do to take action in order to get things moving in this relationship, in order to balance those scales. And I am feeling for some of my divine masculines, they might be dealing with some sort of legal complications Some legal issues going on here that I'm feeling.
possibly a divorce, a separation that hasn't quite happened or is in the process of happening or it's just not moving. I'm feeling stagnant energy here. Some sort of indecision, non-action that I'm picking up from that. That's for some of you guys. Okay, what else do we need to know for Gemini? So angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else needs to come through here? All right, Gemini, what else? What else do you need to be made aware of? What else do you need to be made aware of? In love, in romance, in your life. We have the temptation card coming through here. That is the devil energy. That's also representative of Capricorn energy. So if anyone has Capricorn in their chart, it's being represented here. We also have the eight of swords trapped in fear. Someone who's afraid to move. Someone who is imprisoning themselves in their thoughts and emotions. Very much in their feelings. Not wanting to know the direction really or course of action that they need to take that is falling below the divine masculine. So I'm feeling my divine masculine really is feeling trapped, not knowing what to do here. We do have the eight of wands being indicated here, accelerated motion. Let's see what else. What else needs to come through for Gemini? Bring it forward, please, angels. What else needs to come through? For my Geminis. Shadow. That is the moon in traditional tarot. And we do have the six of, six of swords. Moving on. The need to move on. That is tapping into the same energies as this refocus card. So again, I'm feeling for my divine feminines. My divine feminine is not going to be hanging around forever if the divine masculine does not eventually take the right course of action to manifest union in this situation. So starting off with this temptation card, this is bondage, restriction, stagnation, someone who feels trapped. And it makes so much sense how we've got that Eight of Swords card right next to it. That's basically what it's in indicating here. Someone that you are thinking about, Gemini, is feeling trapped in their life for some reason. So they might be self-medicating. This is coming through with addictions, food addictions, alcohol ad addictions, drug addictions, sex, overspending, codependent behavior of any sort in whatever way, shape, or form that it's manifesting for this person. For some of my Geminis, this could be tapping into your energies as well. But this person is really wanting to end that way of life, to end these negative conditions in their life. I'm feeling, Gemini, that it's the person that you are thinking about for this reading. The devil card, you're still carrying a flame for the one that you love and lost. Some of you guys are wanting to begin again. Some of you are really wanting reconciliation with this person. And Gemini, if you are in separation from this person, I do feel there's a lot of love here between the two of you, but you guys are not officially together. That is what I'm feeling here. But there's so much love here between the two of you. Why can't you be together? Why can't our divine masculine take action? What is it? What is the barrier? Because there is a barrier here. So whoever is tapping into the energies of this devil card, that person needs to slow down and plan. Plan their course of action. And they need to plan it carefully because this could easily derail. It could easily be 
taken towards a wrong direction. So whoever, whoever is tapping into that devil card needs to proceed with caution. Tread lightly in regard to how it is that they free themselves from that energy in order to take proper action towards you, Gemini. Because right now they are definitely feeling trapped in some sort of situation in their life. No movement, no action. And the thing is, they can take action at any time, but they're choosing not to, or they feel that they can't. That's what I'm feeling from that. But the interesting thing is, with the Eight of Wands right next to that, that is tapping into accelerated motion. Rapid action and movement. Quick decisions. So I do feel eventually, Gemini, that this person is going to get out of this headspace of feeling like they're trapped, of feeling so overwhelmed by their fears that they're not taking any action at all. So I do see things eventually shifting. And for some of you, depending on when this happens, some of my divine feminines might end up refocusing elsewhere anyway because this person might just take too long to finally take action. That's for some of you. But of course, the possibility of finally breaking free from this energy of feeling trapped and making a decision to finally get things moving, that could certainly come through. That's a possibility here. Right next to that, we do have the shadow card, which is the moon in traditional tarot. So picking up off of intuition and illusion and confusion, deception, disillusion, a deceptive course of affairs. So Gemini, if this person is not free to be with you, that is coming through here. That may certainly be tapping into either a third party situation for some of you, and perhaps that is why there is no movement here because they can't. They are not free to pursue a relationship with you, not officially anyway. But for some of you guys, it has turned into a third party situation or a friends with benefits type situation. And ultimately, Gemini, I'm really feeling here that that's not what you're looking for. So, the moon card, it, it really is tapping into your faith and what it is that you believe in and what it is that you want to manifest in your life. It's testing your ethics for sure. What it is that you are willing to do to be with this person. And that's why it's once again tapping into that focus card. If you could do anything, what would it be? Are you willing to wait for this person until they take action? Or are you eventually going to give up and refocus your energies towards something else or someone else. And intuitively, Gemini, I'm, I'm tapping into your energies that you already know what course of action you're ready to take, but you're really waiting for your divine masculine to figure things out in his life and to get out of this dark energy of feeling that he's trapped in fear and in that devil energy. So I am feeling someone's anxiety here, paranoia. But if your divine masculine actually takes proper action to come into union with you, Gemini, This situation will eventually heal itself if that is what this person wants. But there has to be equal energy here. And that is why the scales are unbalanced right now. Because I'm feeling, Gemini, that it's mostly you that's putting in the effort. Or this other person is putting in the effort and you're just kind of standing by to see, really, what is it that they want from me or what direction do they ultimately want this to go? And I am feeling, again, for some of you guys, this person is really still committed to someone else and they're not free to pursue a relationship with you. That's what's coming through here. But the moon, there is a light. 
there is a lighter side to this situation. A light at the end of the tunnel. So for my Gemini's, yes, with the moon card, it is hard for you to think clearly because you're not quite sure what it is that this person is willing to do to be with you. You guys have talked about it. I do feel that. And you guys still feel each other vibrationally, even when you guys are not together. For some of you guys, you know, you talk to this person frequently and you're really trying to feel them out to see, you know, do they really love me? Do they really want me? What is it that they want from me? Especially if they're not free, especially legally free to be with you. I am feeling some of these energies coming through here that this person may be married. And for some of you, this person could be separated, but they're not officially divorced or whatever. Whatever the case may be, they're still with the person that they were with in a relationship. And perhaps it's no longer working out, but they haven't taken the necessary steps. They have not taken the action that is necessary to end that relationship with whoever that they are still attached to so that they can be with you, Gemini. That's coming through here for some of you guys. But the moon also brings forward success. After hard times, after a period of devastation, there is success. So yes, there are dark energies in regard to this situation, but there's also a lighter side to this. And right after that, we've got moving on. The Six of Swords. A transition in this relationship will eventually happen if no action is taken by the Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine will not wait forever. She has a lot of love for the Divine Masculine, but she will not wait forever. It doesn't have to be a she, could be a he. So it's not really gender specific as I had indicated, whoever is tapping into that energy. Someone is not going to wait forever. They're going to refocus towards something else in their life or someone else. If there is no action or continues to be no action in this relationship, so let's tap into some Romance Angels and let's see where this is going to take us. For Gemini, what else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know for you, Gemini? What else needs to come through for you, Gemini? Religious factors. Perhaps you and this other person might have different religions. Perhaps that's part of the problem. Perhaps that's part of the reason why there is this unbalanced energy here. If religion is a factor here, guys, and that's playing a part in the dynamic of why there is no union, no official union here, that needs to be addressed. And someone is also turning to prayer in regard to this relationship. Perhaps it's the divine masculine because he is feeling trapped. He's scared to make a move or he feels that he can't. But look at this, guys. We have reconciliation for some of you. And it is coming forward with give your relationship a chance. So for some of my Geminis, Divine Masculine is going to do the right thing to manifest union for you guys to officially come back together. I'm feeling some of you guys were already together before and there was something that broke you guys up. So there is a reconciliation that is being indicated here for some of you and the angels are coming through that it is worth working on this partnership 
So that is telling me that eventually the divine masculine, whoever is identifying with that energy, is going to do what is necessary in order to put forth action and movement in this relationship to manifest union with the divine feminine. Because again, if that action is not taken, the divine feminine is moving on. She's willing to wait, but she's not going to wait forever. Okay, so let's tap into some twin flame messages and see what else needs to come through. You do not have to identify with the twin flame connection. Although, of course, some of you do. So let's see who needs to speak up here, whether it is you, Gemini, or the Divine Masculine, whoever it is that needs to speak up. That is coming through here. And if there is a third party that is involved, their energies may come through here as well. You don't have to resonate with each and every message. Take from it what makes sense for your particular situation. All right, Gemini? All right, so let's see. Who needs to speak up here? What else needs to come through? What else needs to come through here? Who is it that needs to voice their concerns, voice whatever is in their heart? How could you still love me after all I've done? Perhaps this is what the divine masculine is feeling and wanting to tell his divine feminine, how on earth could you still love me after all I've done or possibly not even taking action? Yet he is feeling that the divine feminine still has a lot of love there. So that's a question that the divine masculine is bringing forth to the divine feminine. What else needs to come through? Who else needs to speak up here for Gemini? Or perhaps, Gemini, it is you that needs to speak up and say something. So let's see. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. So perhaps, Gemini, you had entertained another relationship and you came to, you know, to the conclusion that the grass wasn't greener and that at the end of the day, this is the person that you want to be with. So if you were already involved with someone else and came to find that you really had more of an attraction and connection with this divine masculine, that's coming through here. And you quickly came to the conclusion that the other relationship that you were entertaining just wasn't the one for you. And it's interesting how this is the bottom card. I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. So for those of you who were in another relationship, aside from this one, that person is coming through for me saying that they apologize, that they couldn't do right by you in that relationship. So they are acknowledging that. That's for some of you guys. That is what I'm feeling here. And look at this bottom of the deck. We will be together again. So tapping into the energies of that reconciliation card. This person feels that you're going to get back together. You will be together again the way you want to be. So again, take that for however way it makes sense for your particular situation. But the divine masculine I'm really feeling is not going to release his divine feminine from his life without a fight. He's gonna take the necessary actions, necessary in order to manifest union with you, Gemini, I'm feeling. Of course, parts of these readings, Gemini, it could certainly be reversed and you're tapping into the energies of this other person. Okay, so take it for however way it makes sense to you. Because this could be tapping into your energies and how you're feeling. All right, so let's grab some from the volume two deck. 
let's see who else needs to speak up here for Gemini. So angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. Who else needs to speak up here? What else needs to come through for Gemini? And again, Gemini, it might be you that is wanting to speak up here. So let's see. Let's see what words and emotions and thoughts and feelings need to be expressed here. Who needs to speak up here? What needs to be said? What needs to be expressed? Is it the Divine Masculine who wants to speak up? I still remember the good times we shared. Yeah, and there were many of them. So for those of you in separation, I'm feeling your person is still very much thinking about the good times that you had together. And they want to manifest union with you. So if there has been no action here, I feel for some of you, the Divine Masculine especially is going to finally take action that you've been waiting for the Divine Masculine to take. Look at this bottom of the deck card. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. So whoever needed to come through with those words, it is being indicated and expressed here. And again, you don't have to identify or resonate with each and every one of these messages. Take from it whatever makes sense to you. All right, Gemini, so finally let's grab some whispers of love messages and then we'll close out your reading with some guardian angel messages. Spirit guides and angels, please bring it forward for Gemini. What else needs to come through for Gemini? All right. We've got this one and this one. Okay. So what do we have? Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. That is coming through for some of my Geminis. So if you feel that looking back at your relationship patterns, do you see a pattern here? Or can you change the direction of how you have dealt with previous relationships and how you are dealing with this particular one? So if there are patterns in how you interact in a romantic relationship and it hasn't worked for you, it's coming through that those patterns need to be assessed looked at and possibly changed. And look at this other card. Spend some quality time together. For those of you in separation or really wanting to manifest union in this relationship, I really feel that this is all that you are looking for to be able to spend time, quality time with the person that you love and care for the most. The card reads, it is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And in order to do this, it needs to come towards a connection in the 3D, not the 5D. Although that is how you are connecting at this moment for some of you, because there is that spiritual connection between you and this person but you don't want to continue to manifest connections in the 5D. That's not what you're looking for. You want to be able to hold this person, hug this person, be intimate with this person. That is what you're wanting because you have a lot of love for this individual. They have a lot of love for you, but there are obstacles that are in the way. There are barriers that I am feeling here that need to be cleared before that can happen. Okay? So finally, let's grab some final thoughts from the Guardian Angel card deck for Gemini. So angels, please bring it forward. Some final thoughts for my Geminis. Please bring it forward. What needs to come through here? OK. 
Okay, we have a prayer and the bottom of the deck is love. Let's start off with this prayer. Dear guardian angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Wow. I'm really feeling, Gemini, that this is really tapping into a prayer for both you and the person that you are watching this reading for. A much needed prayer. And the bottom of the deck, you have love. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light. Feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. Beautiful message to end your reading for the second half of May. And again, this is such a perfect reading for you considering those of you celebrating birthdays in the month of May. This is especially a very special reading for you. Lots of insightful messages offering you. I'm feeling a lot of clarity and guidance here. So I'm going to leave it right there, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, it's general. It's not going to resonate with each and every person tuning in. So for whoever it did, I hope that you were able to gain a lot of insight from this reading. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I will be back with more readings in the near future. And if you are interested in a personal private reading, that information is down below this video. All right, Gemini. So thank you so very much, and I will see you next time. Take care.